YouTube is good with y'all man, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, hope y'all doing good, we back with a brand new tutorial on the channel, we're close to 50k on the channel as well, so y'all don't forget to subscribe to the channel, I don't usually ask y'all to subscribe at the beginning of the video, but it's 50k bro, come on bro, so I just wanted to start out the video by thanking y'all for all the love and support that y'all been showing to the channel, all the love and support that y'all been showing to me over the past few years man, really appreciate it, really means a lot, but in today's video man, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make y'all beats sound a little bit less basic, a little bit less generic, and a little bit more unique, so how to just add a little bit of character, a little bit of personality, a little bit of your own flavor to your beats instead of them just sounding the same as all the other beats out there so i'm gonna just show you all some of my favorite ways techniques and methods on how to make your beats your samples your drums sound a little bit more interesting that you probably haven't seen before man so let's get right into it let's get it as y'all can't see man got fl studio opened up empty project gonna start by making the sample from scratch like always so uh let's get started for the first melody doesn't really matter what you start out with i'm just trying to start out with something oh i got on this here pulled up I'm gonna go into the keyboard section, see if I find a preset that I like and that inspires me a little bit. That's cool. Let's lower the BPM a little bit. Let's go for uh, 93. Right, let's try and see if I can lay something down on my MIDI keyboard. I don't play the keys, so I'm just trying some. Switch up that last chord. I wasn't even recording, bro. I swear there's a way on how you can, uh, yeah, dump score log. Boom. Let's cut all that out. Drag this to the front. Kind of quantize this a little bit. Want to switch up this last chord. about some of the velocities a little bit to kind of bring that shit to life you feel me so copy this over um chop this up a little bit cut this out kind of make this part a little bit more emotional i ain't gonna lie this shit got hella emotion in it and i wouldn't even be able to come up with this shit by just clicking it in so that's my first step for y'all man try to experiment on y'all midi keyboard bro like of course i'll just cut this shit out when i'm editing the video but i was out here like playing for 10 minutes bro start out with the eq got some of the low end out it's already sounding good bro it's the importance of uh, a good sound selection next is we've got very loud notes in this pattern oh, i kind of want to even everything out a little bit and reduce some of the high peaks so i'm gonna just open up a compressor I'm still leaving in the emotion. Sounds good. Very short delay. Some Valhalla Vintage Rope. Add some room to it. Shit crazy. Alright man, like what we got so far. Great foundation. Sounded very unique. I never heard this shit before. So for the next layer, I'm gonna go into this V collection. I think I wanna add some sort of Mellotron preset. So if y'all know how a Mellotron sounds, bro, like... Sounds very, like, dreamy. Oh, very wavy. I think it will complement this uh, this roads very well. I think I'm going to just start it with this default preset, this uh, flute, and just lay down a pattern that sounds good. And after that, we can change up the uh, the preset. Once again, bro, I'm going to just try uh, play some on the MIDI keyboard, bro. Yo, let's record that shit, bro. Thing that i see a lot of people do when laying out counter melodies is they immediately like start playing their counter melodies at the first bar but it's called a counter melody for a reason like you don't always want to start your counter melodies immediately like for example we got this little gap right here like the listener won't really hear that shit coming if that makes sense you feel me like they won't expect it to come in right here something like that I started by panning it out to the left. Separates it from the roads a little bit, gives it its own little spot. Take out some of the harsh frequencies. Boost that presence. And I don't think this needs a lot. Just add some reverb to it to blend it together with the roads. Keep it fairly dry. But this shit got a life to it, feel me? Like, 
Damn. All right, so the melodic elements of this sample, we got that shit locked in, bro. Like, it sounded very melodic, very emotional. Now I just want to make it sound a little bit more full. So I think I'm going to add some sort of pad, some sort of string uh, behind this uh, roads to kind of complement the roads, make it sound fuller. Uh, maybe we can open up that Mellotron again, see if that got some sort of string uh, to once again also complement that Mellotron uh, preset. Bro. 3,000? Bro. All right, for now, I'm going to just stick to the VST. Um, I'm going to copy over these root notes into that new string uh, pattern, like that. Uh, let's bring these uh, notes a little bit closer together. I'm going to copy over these root notes, like that, to uh, add some lower frequencies under it. Let's try pitching these two up, like that. Maybe pitch this C up. Something like that. Randomize the velocities. Pen to the right. Bring out some of those lower mids at that warmth. Turn it down a little bit. That shit dreamy as fuck, bro. Add this volume automation to it from Shaperbox. Add some rhythm to it. Mmm. Reverb. I think some sort of vocal would sound good. Maybe go with this hook bank. C minor. So we can find some. I could take you anywhere. Let's try this one. Mm. Alright, let's uh, use that as a little accent. I'm gonna click this render button right here. Do option or uh, OR to render it out to this audio clip. I'll chop that last part off. So I don't want this shit. Fade it out a little bit. Just a little accent. Wanna add some delay on it? That's all it needs, bro. Start up opening up this EQ shelf, cutting out some of the highs. It's kind of give it that underwater effect. So I'm add some distortion to it, kind of make it stand out a little bit more. That's perfect. Maybe some delay as well. Some reverb as well. Just add a little bit of room to it. Let's see how that sounds. Turn it down a little bit. Alright, man. Sample sounded really good so far. I do want to add some more low end to it since low end can really add a lot more emotion to a sample. So I got this bass pulled up out of context. For that pattern, I'm gonna just copy over the root notes of the chords, paste it into the bass. We could just leave it like this, but I like adding notes in between the root notes. Oh, it just kind of makes it stand out a little bit. Sounds good, but it's a little bit boring. It's too generic. Got this G sharp. Maybe this A sharp right here. Like that's way more life to the bass. Feel me? Like maybe for the second half, pitch is down an octave. It's perfect, bro. like that preset that's what it affects i'm gonna put it to mono first open up an eq to kind of blend it into the sample a little bit more make sure that the the main melody is also playing sounds good already turn it down a little bit that's pretty much it for the sample bro only five layers sometimes bro like less is more like it's more about the message that you want to get across with your sample instead of just adding as many layers as possible like i said only five layers bro this shit sounded crazy all right man so i arranged the sample real quick so y'all can see oh so now it's time to add some drums under the sample sample sounded really really good man really satisfied this shit came out so we gotta complement it perfectly man when it comes to the drums can't fuck this up and a scientifically proven way how you cannot fuck up your drums 
It was my drum kits, man. I have a set drum kit, Brooks season drum kit. Both are right now, man. First link down in the description. It's the drum kits we're gonna be using for today's video. Both of these kits, man, got every single sound in it you need to lay down hard drums from 808s to bonus loops, claps, effects, hi hats, kicks, open hats, percussion, snares, FL Studio themes. Also gonna be using some sounds of my new upcoming make believe drum kit. I know y'all want the kit, man. Still working on it. Gonna be dropping it soon. I see y'all comments. I see y'all DMs on IG, man. So make sure to follow me over on Instagram. Uh, stay notified when I drop this kit, man. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, let's start on the drums, man. I think I want to keep the drums fairly simple since I don't want to kill the emotion that the melody has. So, I'm just start up with some hats and some uh, some snares, man. Uh, start up with the hi hat. I think a tighter hi hat would sound good. Start up with the two step. Mmm. That's a lot of bounce to it. I'm gonna use this snare. Yeah. Percussion always sounds good. Add it on the end of every second bar. See how that sounds. Damn. I don't want to ruin the beat, bro, so I'ma just add a spins to it, bro. Like you can't go wrong with the spins, bro. I'm going to make sure that I stay in the scale. I'll stay within the root notes. I'm just copy all the root notes of the chords, quantize them like that, shorten the notes, and just come up with the craziest pattern you've ever heard, probably. Ooh, hold on. Oh, that shit crazy, bro. Really hitting. Go ahead. You can try turning it down. Since I think a kick will also go really well with this beat. Unfortunately, we got to turn the spins down a little bit. It's a really hitting, bro. Damn. Let's also add an open hat to it. Add this one. Mess it anyway right here. Damn. Add to the left a little bit. That shit perfect, bro. Lastly, I think I want to add some sort of subtle roll to the Hyatt. I don't want to overdo it, so maybe like one or two rolls. Just one right here, maybe. That's it, bro. All right, man, so I think that's pretty much it for the drums as well as for the beat. Oh, shit came out crazy, bro. I think we complemented the melody perfectly with the drums. The entire beat only consists of 11 sounds, bro. So that means that we only use 11 layers for the entire beat sample as well as the drums. That really proves that you don't need to add a lot of sounds to make your beat sound good, bro. So it's the beat that we ended up with. So that's pretty much it for today's video. That's how I make my beats and samples from scratch without them sounding too basic or generic. Like I always really want to thank y'all for watching the video all the way to the end. Really hope that y'all enjoyed the video and learned something from the video. If y'all find this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. But like I said in the intro, man, we're close to 50k on the channel. So once again, I really want to thank y'all for all the love and support that y'all been showing to the channel lately. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram to stay notified when I drop new videos, new kits, all that. Don't forget to check out my kits as well. I'm gonna have it linked down in the first link down in the description. Don't forget to check out my Discord community, all that. If you got any other video suggestions or things you want to see me do on the channel, don't forget to leave a comment. I'll read every single comment under every single one of my videos. And that's pretty much all I got for today's video, man. So I'm going to catch you on the next one. I'm out.